They say one man's trash is another man's treasure. I've certainly found that to be true. I'm amazed at what people throw away. They're all made from bits that other people don't want. So every bit of them is interesting. I haven't been able to create as much lately. They're not throwing it away as much as they used to. Either people have started valuing things more or something is a bit off. I suspect it's the latter. Humans don't appreciate what they've got until it's faded or disappeared entirely. Mate, these are sick. What? Did you make them? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I make them. Well, you made all of them. See? Yeah. Don't mind if I take some photos, do you? No, it's okay. Dude, they're just epic. What do you make them out of? Sort of changes all the time, really. It's, it's, it's whatever washes in. Sometimes it's plastic or sometimes even metal. This. Uh, it's, it's made primarily of driftwood. It kind of just shows up on the ocean and then uh, just kind of tack it together. That's amazing. Can you show us how to make one? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I'm working on one at the minute, actually. You can come and have a look if you want. Amazing, <laughs> thank you. Talent here, mate. What would you make that one out of? That's, uh, CDs. CDs? God, you really did make it out of everything, didn't you? So cool, dude. Thanks for showing us that. That's OK. It's quite easy, actually. What? Wow. Can we buy one? No, they're not for sale. Well, what'd you do with them all, then? I enjoy them. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny guy. Here you go. No, no, that, that, that's OK. Yeah, you can have it. Really? Yeah, sure. Matches your mask. What's you? Well, cheers, mate. What's your name? It's Donny. Donny. Nice to meet you. You're a real cool guy. That's really kind. Thank you. Cheers for that. No worries. Have a nice day. You too. Don't put it in direct sunlight.
Time goes so quickly. The seasons are rolling into one. I always love the summers here. I like how the sun warms the water. It's beautiful and I'm creating more, but that's partly because the shore is covered in rubbish again. Rubbish. Really obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a lot more of it lately. Yeah, I suppose that was one of the good things to come from it all. I mean, that and the birds. Yeah, there was this super rain mockingbird super in his modern garden. Like, how sick is that? <laughs> <laughs> Matt's got me into birds. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a sucker for him, to be honest. A bit of a geek, really, when you think yeah. about it. I mean, it was only the third in the UK ever to be seen. You normally find them in North America, but probably never going to see another one now, so. Pretty awesome. Right. been asking why there's so much rubbish now. Well, the world, it's, it's getting back to normal and, well, this, this is normal, unfortunately. It's all rubbish and upon the beach. Not all of it, exactly. Um, only actually a small amount of it ends up on the beach. The, the vast majority, it, it goes back into the ocean's ecosystem. It's sort of like the ocean's life bubble. How does that make you feel? It makes me angry. That's good. Use that. You know, I thought I'd know when it was time to move on. I knew it'd be clear, and it is. It's been a happy home, and I'll leave it in safe hands. I'll say goodbye to my trashy friends. Hope other people will love them as much as I do. I hope they bring joy. And remind people that even when life hands you a load of rubbish, something to be useful.